Hey, Andrew here from Emergent Technology. Thanks for joining me today. I've been playing around with my Vitcher XR Pro XR glasses recently. And if you don't know, these are just basically a head mountable display. They're not VR, they're not AR, it's just a display. And um, you know, for what they are, they're a pretty compelling product. They are a little bit on the pricier side, about 500 bucks, but if you are in a place without a great TV or you don't wanna bring a display with you or you want some privacy while you view, pretty good product overall, I've been enjoying them. They are 1080p, which is a little bit of a limitation, but still good. But I had this idea, like what if you could work remotely without a tablet, computer, desktop, monitor, whatever, just using the XR glasses in your phone? Can you do it? And uh, the answer to this question is, Yes, it can be done, but with some caveats. So here's what I thought. If I could take my Vitcher glasses, connect them to my phone, and then use virtual desktop and remote into my computer, then I could work remotely uh, with a keyboard and mouse connected to my phone. Uh, for iPhone users, first you have to enable assistive touch in your iPhone accessibility settings. This lets you connect a mouse and then use a cursor on your iPhone. There's a little overlay dot that shows up on the screen, but you can toggle a setting that disables this dot while the mouse is connected. And then when you unplug the mouse, the dot comes back on, and then you just turn off assistive touch. If either of your accessories are USB-C based or USB based, you're gonna need an adapter as well. Apple does sell a $65 USB-C to HDMI, USB-C power, and USB-A adapter which um, is crazy expensive. You can get them for cheaper elsewhere. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I used my uh, USB mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard since I don't have a purely Bluetooth mouse. And because of the simple fact that you're using USB accessories, you are then deprived of the port that you need to plug the Vitcher directly into your phone. So then what do you need? You need the HDMI Vitcher adapter, which is the Vitcher Pro Dock which has an onboard battery bank, which powers the glasses, but also converts any HDMI source to something that outputs on the glasses. Long story short, if you have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, you don't need any of the adapters. You just need the connection from this to your phone, and then you can use wireless accessories. Okay, so with everything plugged in, there is some configuration that you have to do with remote desktop. I use RVNC on iOS, which works just fine with Apple's inbuilt desktop sharing or screen sharing application. Uh, and if you wanna do this remotely from away from your computer and you don't wanna deal with um, all sorts of stuff like port forwarding and all that, you can use something called TailScale, which creates a virtual private network between your phone and your home computer. It's a free app that runs on basically any device, any OS. So you run this on your uh, home computer, you run it on your phone, and then you just type in the local address of the computer and voila, you get screen sharing. Instead of using the iPhone screen as a trackpad, there's a setting that you want to turn off in RVNC, uh, which then enables you to have direct input. So wherever you tap on the screen, that's where the cursor goes. And when you're using a mouse, this is exactly what you want. They call this a not recommended option because they frankly don't envision people using a mouse with their iPhone. But this is the option you need for this and it works. After logging in, I can use my mouse just like I would on a desktop. There's a little bit of a delay, which I think is inherent to all remote desktop, but especially remote desktop over Wi-Fi or cellular. I can navigate my desktop, use my OS, open Chrome. I can even do like light photo editing, which is kind of amazing to me, like not having a computer with me and doing desktop level photo editing. It works, it's super clunky, but it's war it works, it's possible. I mean, really here, you're just juggling accessories, dealing with UI quirks, and of course, you're not gonna get any form of video conferencing out of this because uh, you're dealing with a computer that's miles away from you, potentially. Anyway, the potential here is real. Um, is this something that I would bring on a trip with me and use in lieu of a laptop or an iPad? Probably not, but is it doable? Yes, it absolutely is right now. Um, as XR glasses technology improves and the connectivity improves, I have a feeling this is gonna be a much more viable option for people moving forward, and that there will be a time eventually where people forego the laptop entirely when they go on trips in favor of XR glasses and perhaps a remote desktop solution. Just don't do it like I did with all these adapters. Use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. That is, unless you like adapters and solving problems that you invented yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching Emergent Technology. Let me know down in the comments if you've actually tried a solution like this before and how you found it, or whether there's something else you're holding out for. All right, have a good one. Cheers.